Yeah, I spent most of my life dodging off his cubicle. And here you go, you nail me down in one. I feel way out of my comfort zone. If my kids were here, they would have put a fart cushion under the seat here. <laughs> Probably the one we did for this season, one of the ones in Australia in the Northern Territories. You know, it's just a really unforgiving environment. I almost had a, a sword, a crocodile take me off my raft, and it's kind of like you've got to choose your battles in these places. Snakes everywhere you look, and sometimes the mosquitoes are so thick, it's just clouds of them, and you just can't hear each other talk. A but the thing to remember is none of these things last forever. And when you're cold, and you're tired, and you're hungry, and you're thirsty, if you keep smiling during those times when it's pouring a rain, you're going to get through it. And before you know it, you're in a nice cubicle in an office in New York, and with people smiling, and it's all okay. Well, it's funny because when you have other people, um, I become I have to become super focused on because they haven't got a clue. I've got to double check everything and check them on, make sure they're not wandering off over this. Or and Will was just endlessly sort of just taking the piss out of me. And I go, Will, don't stand on that. That's going to give way, and I have to pull him back. I kind of enjoyed it more watching the show at the end and realised actually how funny it is. But at the time, I'm going, Will, shut up, don't move. You know, let me get you down this thing. Oh, you know, it's a long list of sort of bear poo and sort of, you know, elephant dung and camel intestines and yak eyeballs. But I think raw ghost testicles are bad. They're solid, but you put them in your mouth, they melt into what you imagine would be um, inside a ghost testicle. <laughs> well, it's kind of, you know, it's a shame to waste good pee. You know, if you're in a survival situation and, you know, Fluids can cool you down, you don't have to necessarily be drinking it, but I've done tests with thermal imaging camera, the difference between just putting your t-shirt, wrapping it around your head loose, and having it soaked in pee or whatever, one is just going to dramatically cool you down, the other is just going to help you a little bit. If you're well hydrated, um, and you've got some other fluids as well to drink your pee, it actually can help you. So none of these things are fun, and none of these things are good, but they could keep you alive if your life is on the line, and it really you know, came down to the wire. But the heart of the show, it's about these scenes could save your life. Um, and let's hope you never find yourself in that situation. Spirit, you know, it's all about your heart, how much you really want to get out of somewhere. And you know, that matters more than all the survival skills and all the knowledge and all the books. It's actually about the understanding that the key is never to ever quit. That's survival in a nutshell. Hi, I'm Bear Grylls and you're watching TV Guide magazine. <laughs>